Hello and welcome to the Views Club. By popular demand, I'm going to be showing you how I make these delicious cinnamon rolls. Ingredient time! Four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You're going to need one-fourth cup of lukewarm milk, two large room temperature eggs, one-third cup of softened butter, two and a half teaspoons of yeast, one and a half teaspoons of salt, half a cup of sugar. In a bowl, you're gonna add your one-third cup of butter. eggs and you're gonna whip them just till then they're just till they're uh, well incorporated Once you've blended your butter in your egg mixture, you're gonna slowly add your warm milk. It's just a quick mix. So to your flour, you wanna go ahead and add your salt. You wanna add your sugar. Oopsie, <laughs> you wanna add your sugar in there. Your dry ingredients, just mix them in together like this, okay? Ooh, it's nice and warm in there. You don't want it to be too hot in here, it just has to be warm enough for your yeast to absorb everything. So go ahead and add your yeast. I'm gonna give it a quick mix with this. To our blend, I'm gonna slowly start adding in our flour. You guys have a KitchenAid at home, you already know how to handle these parts. You guys know I like to do things by hand. <laughs> One more time. That smells good. Once you add warm milk to flour, you know that whatever comes out of that is gonna be sweet. I'm on YouTube, <laughs> being a foodie, but I get most of my requests for food for my Instagram. So if you guys wanna go and check it out, I do. I have a lot of eating videos and I post most of my day-to-day -day life in my story. Okay, doing good. We're gonna have to get our hands in here in just a little bit. Pour the rest of it in.
right, let me turn it over so I can go to town on it. This is not too much of a kneaded dough. Like you don't have to knead too much. Once you incorporate everything together, you can uh, you can let it set and rise. Sometimes you might feel that it got too sticky. It just depends on the eggs you're using. I noticed that in baking, it depends a lot on your eggs. I'm gonna get a little flour just so that I can get all this dough off. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it with my hand. So something like that. What is that? It's hardly nothing, so. All right, we got it all off. Ooh. Okay, this is half a cup of flour, but I'm just gonna sprinkle enough to where it's not sticking to my board. So that was maybe Go with about a fourth. It's very difficult for me to give you um, exact portions sometimes because I cook from instinct. I kind of have to work with what I have here. So depending on your region, I'm in a desert area where it's very arid. So I kind of have to work my flour depending then because I know when I used to live in Texas it was like so humid all the time. <laughs> Most of the time it was really humid so my baking skills there were very different. Very, very different. That's what I mean by depending on your region, it'll come out a different way. Smell your dough, it smells so good. It's about good, a little stickiness. You really don't have to do much to it. Let me go ahead and clean my board and my bowl that we're gonna put this in and I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, I cleaned my board, I cleaned my bowl. Make sure it's completely dry in here. Sprinkle a little bit of oil on the outside. Just so that if it sticks, it's easy to come off. Okay. And get our dough. Put it in. So cover your bowl. Once you have your bowl covered, you wanna make sure you keep it in a warm spot. And we're gonna keep it there for one and a half to two hours so that this can rise. And we're rooting for it to double in size, okay? So I'll see you guys in about an hour and a half. All right, Views Club, we're at about an hour and a half. I'm gonna keep it here another 30 minutes. And I'm also keeping my butter in there so it can be super soft. Okay, for your filling, you're gonna need one third cup of softened butter. To the butter, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. The, van the vanilla I use is a Mexican vanilla blend. Looks like this. I have one and a half cups of brown sugar. Ooh, so pretty. I have three and a half uh, tablespoons of cinnamon. If you like your cinnamon rolls with that dark cinnamony taste, you wanna add three and a half to four. And if you don't like it too much, I would say go with two and a half. But for me, three and a half is a perfect amount. Okay. 
So it makes this around really well. Mm -hmm. Set this to the side. And when you put the vanilla in here, it's a little bit harder to blend in here, but once it hits that dough, it's gonna smooth real easily. So we have something like that. For your icing, you're gonna need half a pack of cream cheese, six tablespoons, or one third cup. And it does have to be very soft so that we can blend it well. Um, also, we need one fourth cup of butter, softened. You guys know I love this vanilla blend, so I'm gonna do one uh, teaspoon and one and a half cups of confectioner sugar, powder sugar. If you don't have powder sugar at home, um, put a cup and a half of regular cane sugar in your blender and blend it for a little bit and it's gonna get really like pulverized. Not to the confectioner's consistency, but very, very close. I'm gonna use my hand mixer, but I know that not everybody has one, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, manage this on, <laughs> on how I would do it if I didn't have one, okay? These are always good to buy um, during the holidays. So just press your cream cheese and your butter down into the sugar. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to incorporate all this together so that when we smear it, it's going to get very melty on the top. Press it in. Guess I didn't need my mixer. <laughs> set it to the side give it a little taste mmm treat yourself pretty good right so we're gonna set this to the side so that we can go ahead and roll out our dough okay this is what we have going on the warmest spot in my kitchen is the oven don't turn your ovens on if you're gonna take that method because my kitchen gets cold and it kept this nice and warm this dough is happy. It's so perfect, I don't, I don't want to touch it. So what you want to do is you want to dust some flour on your board, on your counter. Ooh, that rolls really well. Start rolling it out into somewhat of a rectangle. I always have a difficult time getting it exact. If for some reason your dough didn't rise too well but it rose, you should be okay because the flavor's all in the dough. 
and the heat that it's gonna get from the oven will help it rise a little bit for you. I wanna remind you guys that I'm not a trained chef. I just really love cooking for my family especially. I love making treats, food. And um, I've been cooking since I was a young girl practicing in the kitchen, so. So your, your butter vanilla mixture that we have for the filling set aside, you wanna smear it all on your dough. Coat it completely. If you don't have enough butter to coat the dough, um, you're gonna have to melt a little bit more, okay? These are homemade, so they're not gonna be the most perfect shape, and I like that, because it makes it very unique for each one of your family members. Now we're gonna add the cinnamon and sugar mixture. To this sugar mixture, in order to balance it, I'm gonna put two little sprinkles of salt. Start building that layer. Ooh, you guys can thank Cloudy for that angle. Thanks, Cloud. My pleasure. <laughs> Get you guys so close to the sugar. Ooh. And pour it all over your dough. You can use your hands to spread it, but I know some people get worked up when I use my hands too much. So, just want to let you know I do have one of these, but I'm very hands-on, so. Make sure you coat all your corners. Okay, here comes the fun part. What you're gonna go, you're gonna start from one side and give it a little bit of a roll and a slight pull. A roll and a slight pull to initiate that first roll. Roll and a slight pull. Roll and a slight pull. Okay? You can start here and going in a little deeper. Roll, pull. Roll, pull. Roll and pull. And we're gonna take it that way the whole the whole cinnamon roll you get a little bit of a terrier should be okay for some reason when I make them I always get one side that's thicker than the other which works out perfect some for the adults some for the kids but my kids are the ones that take the big ones <laughs> And this dough is very forgiving. If you don't have it long enough, you can give it a quick stretch to cover it all the way. I've made the cinnamon rolls where I can't even stretch the dough because I messed up the recipe so bad before. And if you make it right, it's very, very forgiving. Looking good, look at that. So what I do first is I cut my ends, set them to the side. I cut it down the center. Okay. Cut in half. You can make huge cinnamon rolls like this, or you can make smaller ones. So I'm gonna go for another cut right here. It 
So you're gonna make, depending on what size you wanna cut them, that's how many you're gonna have. Whatever butter you had left from your filling on your brush, come back and coat the bottom of this. Start placing your cinnamon rolls in here. So if you guys saw that, I just switched one because this one was a little bit thicker and higher. So I kept the ones that are about the same size on the same side of the pan. Like that, and then these, I just put them right there. Okay, so now that these are set and we have them cut up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover them and we're gonna let them uh, sit for another 20 to 30 minutes. And you'll notice that they'll get bigger and it's kinda gonna depend with you whether you wanna let it sit for 20 to 30, 40 minutes. It's gonna be up to you and how warm your kitchen is. So I'll see you guys in about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, I kept them in for about 30 minutes. And let me show you. They rose big time. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees, and they're gonna be in there for about 14 to 18 minutes. We just want them to turn golden brown. You wanna place your cinnamon rolls in the center part of your oven. And we're gonna keep them in here 14 to 18 minutes at 400 degrees. Ooh. Hey, hey, look at this. I kept my cinnamon rolls in for 17 minutes. It's gonna depend on your oven. Start checking them at 14 minutes. Ooh. See in there, they look pretty good. They rolls lovely. They like doubled in size or tripled, huh? It's go time. We're gonna smear all this icing all over our cinnamon rolls. And icing just doesn't do it justice because you think icing and you think of that sugary substance. This is, it's like creamy, cream cheese-like. It's amazing. It's ready for you. It's ready to keep you really happy. If you mix the um, the Mexican vanilla blend and the cinnamon together, it's divine. The smell in here, it's like a holiday. I'm telling you, you show up to your potluck family reunion with cinnamon rolls, ooh, you're gonna be remembered. Ooh, I'm not sure what piece I want, but I usually go for the ones that have a lot of cinnamon. I'm gonna go for this one right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna push it straight down. Ooh, they're so soft. Ooh, yes. You guys know I love to eat. I'm gonna taste it, I'm gonna dig in, let you guys know how it, how it came out. I'm not gonna toot my own horn, this is bomb. Bomb.com. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my God, this is so good. You're not gonna toot your own horn, but you did. I know, you heard Cloud. I tooted my own horn. That's not so bad, because people say tooted for something else. I know. It smells so good in here. 
It's so delicious. These are probably the best ones I've ever made, straight up. I'll be the judge of that. I'm really enjoying all the pictures and all the messages. Mm, my mouth is so full, I can't speak. <laughs> all the messages that I've been receiving from you guys and sharing the recipes that you guys make, sharing with me what you're eating. So if you guys make this and you hook your family up, your coworkers, Whoever you decide to make this for, make sure to send me a picture or a video on Views on the Road Instagram and I'll post it to you guys on my story time, okay? But this is definitely going to be a Views classic. So if you guys make the Views cinnamon rolls, go ahead, tag me. Tag me! Tag me! Hmm. That's why you want to add a lot of the cinnamon. You see that? Mmm. That's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this delicious recipe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Adios!